Florida State trying to bounce back from that week zero loss over in Dublin to Georgia Tech taking on BC first game under Bill O'Brien and well this a snapshot of the struggles opening drive of the third quarter reeked of desperation fourth and five from their own 47 going for it DJ Uyangalale picked off sets up a first and goal BC capitalizing on every opportunity that fell into their lap unbelievable the sights and the sounds and some of the lack thereof in Tallahassee as Florida State the 10th ranked team in your preseason poll begins the season 0-2 with losses to Boston College and Georgia Tech this marks BC's second largest win versus a top 10 opponent in program history a resounding statement in game one to their season and floundering are those Knowles a second consecutive loss to start theirs. CBS Sports football analyst Bryant McFadden, the proud Florida State Seminole here to offer his thoughts. Mac, we know that these wins and losses, they are all team results. But in order to move forward and to get better, you have to identify what ails. Where do you point to first and what Florida State is struggling with right now? Point blank. On either side of the football field. The lack of toughness. We saw that week one against Georgia Tech offensively couldn't get the job done to, to pave running lanes for whoever, whoever the ball carrier was. Defensively couldn't get any stops, any push. And the same things that surfaced against Georgia Tech, Joe, surfaced tonight, but it got worse. It, 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 didn't get, it, didn't get, it didn't get better. It didn't, no improvement. It got worse. And that was my concerns leading into the ball game. Me and you, we did our pregame show. I mm -hmm. talked about... And will we see a difference from the big fellas, the big boys that put their hand in the dirt? No, we did not. No, we did not. And then when you look at the numbers, Boston College at halftime, they had 24 carries for 86 yards, Joe. They finished the game with a total of 52 totes for 263 yards. Mm. They had a plus 177 gain in the second half of running the football. They average over five yards per carry. When you transition to Florida State running the football, 16 attempts for 21 yards for the entire ball game. Average basically a yard a tote. That's not winning football. So one side, Boston College, they set the line of scrimmage. They dominated in the trenches. The other side, you, you saw the opposite. A lack of toughness is something that I would not, I, I, I wouldn't think I would see. And that's an issue. It's been an issue for the last two weeks. And that's one of the main reasons why you know, Florida State, they're currently 0-2. And I know Joe, DJU is going to get a lot of criticism. No question. He missed some throws. He made some throws. But I can tell you this much. When you look at trying to get the best out of a quarterback, at some point in time, one of the more experienced group on, groups on your offense, they have to show up, protect better, run the football. Because the last... Two ball games that we've watched Florida State, they have not been able to run the football. So if a defender or a defensive coordinator, if they know you can't run the football, we're not even concerned about that element of the ball game. We're playing one dimensional based on your ability to try to throw the football. Mac, you do an amazing job for us and you break down what leads to these sort of things. but. As you sort of put it there, all the hallmarks to losing football here, missed throws, dropped balls, undisciplined in key moments, some desperate decision-making at times. Talk to me as the alumni right now. Talk to me about what you're feeling as a man who proudly wore that uniform and really speak to the pride that that means and that lack of pride that you've seen through these first two games. I mean, the standard is extremely high there in Tallahassee before I became a no. I went to Florida State watching some legendary players perform week in and week out. And these players, most of these guys were a part of the team the last two seasons that have been overly successful. And it's one thing to lose ball games. It, it, it happens, right? Whatever your profession is, whatever your nine to five is, whatever it is you need to do, you will always fall short of perfection because you're not perfect. But the will and the fight is something that should surface, especially in the game of football. I played the game just like you played the game, Joe. It's been a few times where I lined up on a guy who was just faster, stronger, bigger, quicker than me. 
but I felt like I could fight still. Yeah, your punches might be a little harder than mine. That doesn't mean I can't swing either. I'm going to swing. And that's what we're not seeing right now. Mickey Andrews, my legendary defensive coordinator at Florida State, he used to always say, you have to be willing to, f to knock another man in the mouth. Not literally, but in the game of football. You have to be willing to move another man against his will. And we're not seeing that right now from Florida State. Just the energy, the want to, and Mike, Mike gave us a cool point during our halftime show. He said, when you watch Florida State in the first half, it felt like their season was already over. Like they knew they had no chance to get into the playoffs. You, you, you didn't see any juice, any energy, instead of a team playing with desperation on their mind. So as a, an alum, when I was there in Tallahassee, I didn't always have my best effort. I played on teams that were disappointed from time to time to our fans. But one thing we always wanted to do was bounce back and just fight more. Fight. Fight until the whistle. You hear the whistle until you hear it. You see two zeros on the clock. You have no time. And the thing is, too, Joe, let's keep it real. The two teams that Florida State lost to, they have more talent than Georgia Tech. They have more talent than Boston College. Mm-hmm. It's not like they're playing against Notre Dame, Miami, where they're just even kill when it comes to talent or even might have a little more talent. These two teams they played against, they have more talent. But there lies the issue. That's why football is the best sport in our country. Because just, be, just because you may have the more talent, you may have the more talented team, doesn't mean you always win. Because execution is a key, playing hard is a key, being smart and disciplined is a key. And just giving it your all is the last key to be successful, to being successful. So you have a 1% chance to make the playoffs. My message to the guys in the locker room, don't even worry about the playoff. Worry about the next ball game. Find a way to get a win. Find a way to be better. And the thing about growing in prof not professional sports, but in sports in general, you have to be honest with yourself. You got to look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm screwing up. My effort is in question. I'm better than that. I need to do better. Don't say I'm I'm screwing up, but this. I don't like the calls that coaches call. I, I, I miss that tackle, but no. You got to look yourself in the mirror and say, man, I got to do better. That's the only way you grow and you improve, especially when you're playing this game, because in the words of Mike Tomlin, Joe, in Pittsburgh, he used to tell us all the time after a horrible loss, ugly loss, be prepared to face the bad tape you just put out there. Mm. Because when you put it out there one time, you're going to see it over and over again until you get it right. Florida State put bad tape against Georgia Tech, especially defensively, can't stop the run, different uh, uh, misdirection, things like that. That same bad tape, it surfaced again tonight. Boston College did the same thing on either side of the football field. So that's the grown part about football. When you have bad tape, it's out there. Embrace it, but find a way to get better because you're going to see it until you get it right. I think a lot of what we're talking about right now boils down to accountability and the wrinkle in today's college football landscape, accountability and accounting. You talk about more talent on one team than the other, the wrinkle being you paid for some of that talent. So we'll see how it all shakes out and what is done from a roster standpoint here for Florida State, but a, a lot of pride got to show up, as you said, Around a 1% chance to make that playoff, according to some of the prognostications after this 0-2 start. Each team's loss is another team's win, and this is a foundational win for Boston College as they start a new era under Bill O'Brien. You said it, highlighted by 263 yards on the ground. Felt like a team that was willing to fight for everything in front of them. What stood out to you, uh, rushing attack, but also in the way that Bill O'Brien had his guys ready to play on the road in a tough place? They're, number one, that's it, the preparation. They were so prepared for this moment. They executed, they're dialed in. You can say whatever you want to say about Bill O'Brien, right? You can say he was a failure at Houston as a professional coach. You can say whatever you want to say. But one thing you cannot say or question about Bill O'Brien, he knows ball, especially offensive football. You got to remember, Bill O'Brien was once a part of Bill Belichick there in New England. He learned from one of the best. So the game plan that he was able to put together was super impressive. And then when you transition to Tim Lewis, a longtime journeyman, D.C. in the National Football League as well. He's had some highs calling plays in the, in the National Football League.
he was able to dissect and come up with a nice game plan to just neutralize and shut down Florida State's offense. They have some NFL-like minds, a part of their coaching staff. Certainly. They have got, they've earned the respect of their players because their players are buying into everything that they're selling because they believe these coaches that are coming from the NFL, they know ball and they're going to put us in positions to be successful. We just got to be disciplined and do what they tell us to do. Pay attention to details, and that worked mightily tonight in Tallahassee for a huge win. First game for Bill O'Brien, and then also, too, remember this, uh, Joe, he kind of became the head coach unexpectedly because he was on, on, on the way to Columbus and then was like, you know what, let me see what this is, and then put together a staff very, very quickly, put together a staff and got things done. So it's just a matter of time before they started to get – better talent into the building. But when you look at what he did tonight with what he already has there on the roster, awesome job by Bill O'Brien and his staff. A professional performance there on the road to start things off under Bill O'Brien. Mac, we got to go, but I need a yes or no answer from you here. Florida State, we've seen them twice now. We saw a lot of really good football to start this weekend, week one in college football. Does Florida State belong with a number next to their name the next time we see a poll? You know, Joe, you know, I got to be honest. I love Florida State, but no, they don't deserve to be ranked in the top 25. Hey, in, this game, that. in this game, Mac, you know it better than anybody. You earn it, and it starts here at 0-2, earning it back for those Seminoles. Bryant McFadden, we appreciate you as always. Yes, sir. All right, big win here for BC under Bill O'Brien against any top 10 opponent, but against Florida State, all that that means, that program, their second largest win against an AP top 10 team in the history of Boston College football. It is their largest ever win over an AP top 10 team on the road in the history of Boston College football. A 15 point victory over the Knolls on a Monday night in Tallahassee. More to come on HQ full highlights. The struggle continues for Florida State. We'll show you how BC got this decisive win on Monday night.